Hi friends, in this video we will see another type in the TypeScript that is nothing but any. So what is this any type? So we will write it here. Any. Any is nothing but the name itself describes that if you don't know the type of a variable. So if you don't know what is the type of variable, whether if you don't know whether it could be a string or number or object array, if you don't know the type of the variable. So we will be declaring that one using the TypeScript. So any is nothing but what we can say is the JavaScript variable. How we will be using the JavaScript variable using the where and let. So the that type only the any will become uh, any will behave like that only. So according to my suggestion is that maximum you try to avoid using this type any type in the TypeScript. Why? Because so if you use this type uh, you use this type any means so TypeScript will ignore that one. So it will not give, it will not do runtime check and all those things. And also it will not give you the suggestions, intelligence and compile time errors. It will not show you anything. So any means is nothing but a JavaScript variable. It will treat, it will be treated and you will be missing the flavors of all the TypeScript types as uh, strictly typing and all those things you will be missing. So according to me, maximum, if you don't know, if you maximum use the static typing type of things only, if you know the variable maximum maintain, you maintain the variable in these types only if you don't know if you don't know how to behave this one then only you should be using the anything only so we will check here how we can use this any for example i have here i am removing this code now here i have a uh, array something like array uh, we will be mentioning this one as string okay so we are having the string of data we will be having like this a string of data we will be having a we will we'll be declaring this one as a string of data sorry we will be having something like okay i will be declaring like this string okay now what i will try to do array dot push i can push the value something like if i try to push one it will throw me an error why because the array takes only the uh, strings of data okay the value should be the array value should be always the strings only so that is the reason it is throwing me an error so here i could have it like this data now if i try to push array dot push of one Okay, so it is throwing me a compile time error that here if you see here argument of one is not assignable to the parameter of type string it is showing. So that means it will uh, the array variable will accept only the values that is of string of string type only. So if you want this type of scenario if you are using uh, if you want to push one into this array then you can mention this one something like any. If you mention this one something like any then automatically see we got we, uh, the compile time error has been removed. And the array in this array, you can push any type of value. You can push any data. You can push the object. You can push an again an array. You can push a string and any data. You can push this one. But you will miss the flavor of the what we can what is say the TypeScript compilation and all those things. For example, if you have only string data, means each value in the array, you can apply the string manipulations functions so that TypeScript compiler itself will tell you all the string string methods and all those things. Now, if you check this type of anything. Then TypeScript uh, compiler will not tell you any errors, will not show you any errors or anything, so anything you can apply for these methods. So you will be having a runtime errors when you are compiling, when you are checking the, when you are outputting and all those things code, you will be having a compile time errors, right? runtime errors you will be able to get. So that is the reason, so all the time what you can see, what you can say is, you can avoid this type of uh, using of any type, okay, this is the any type. And another type what we can discuss now in this video only is, Nothing but what we what I can say is is of union type, okay? Union type, union type. In this is also one type which is supported only in the TypeScript, okay? So what is this union type? For example, here I will go to my code. Here again I will what I will try to do is I will try to add a one function, okay? Previously we have seen right number one which should be a number and also number two. This is also a number. Okay, what it will try to give? Return number one plus number two. So this this add function will take the arguments of number one and number two, which are of type numbers only. So it will take the arguments which are only numbers. It will not take strings or anything. So this one add will will do the mathematical logic and it will return you the result. So now if I try to use this one add, and if I try to to 1 comma 2 and if I store it in the result here okay if I try to console dot log result okay so this this is this code will be accepted if I try to do 
TSC main dot TS. And if I try to execute it here, it execute. Okay, this one has been executed. Okay, now if I try to check here, I got the three as an output. Okay, fine. So this one is okay. Now I want to change this function in such a way that it can, it should be done. It should be the function should has to done two types of things. Okay, so for example, it's nothing but adding. Adding means I can, I will change this. Uh, method to combine so that if I give the numbers to that function it should do the mathematical operation and or if I send the string data to this function it should concatenate those two strings and it should be give me the data so if if this function handles over two, fun two, two functions two functions means two functionalities then it would be better for us but here if I try to pass something like Leela and also Leela to concatenate these two strings you will be getting an error that cannot cannot find name add okay here it, it would be saying that it should accept only the number it will accept only the numbers so how can i send the data so which are which are string numbers and strings how can i send the data so now union comes into place in this type of scenarios how we can do is here we can keep r symbol like this and we can use the string thing and also here i can use r and you can use the string thing here so that means what it is happening here the number one will take either number number as the as the input or otherwise string as the input so number two also it can take the number type as an argument also also the string type as an argument so you can keep as many orts you want so you can keep boolean also so that it, the number one will take either number either string or boolean so same scenario so you can take as many so here for me the scenario is only it should take number and string and it should send so now here it is telling so i will change this one to combine okay now here it is throwing again it's throwing an error for me why because so here number one string or number plus cannot be applied to type string or number it is saying why because now the type script compiler cannot cannot understand this type of code okay so it is it is trying to do the uh, mathematical calculation for the string also for the number also so what I need to do this one this TypeScript compiler is now cannot able to understand. So what we can do is so here in order to uh, overcome the situation so we can check if type of so here I will change it to input one instead of number one okay. So why because these are not numbers so either we can get numbers or otherwise we can get strings also. So if type of input one is equal to is equal sorry. Is equal is equal to number ampersand ampersand type of input to is equal is equal to number if both are number okay i will take the result in one variable let result is equal to empty okay now what i will try to do if type both are numbers means i can store the result in in this variable okay now I can store this result in this variable. If the if they are not numbers, what I can do? If type of input one is equal to number and is one, so I can change it to input one. And I can change it to input two. Okay. Now the error has been gone. Now what I can do? If else, it is not. If it is not the thing means, so I can send result is equal to input one dot two string okay i'm converting that one to this one and input two dot two string okay so now i have converted this one to input dot two string so i have converted here to input one dot two string and here this one to string let's remove this one so now what i can re what i can do is i can return the result okay now here what i was doing is so here number of string is taking now here i am telling i am i am writing in a such a way the logic that so the type according to the type it is, i am doing this one so if type of input one is equal to equal number and type of both are numbers means so it will do the mathematical calculation or otherwise what i am trying to do is i am converting the input one to string and also input two to string and i am showing it in the result if you keep here is equal is equal to empty you will get an error here why because here both are numbers it is trying to do the mathematical operations and we will be get a number here 
so here we when when we kept e is equal to empty so the assignment thing we are doing so automatically assignment thing is the result will be of string automatically so it will not store the number data into this result so that is the reason it is throwing an error so we can remove directly here so either it will go either into this one or into this one so in that scenario it will decide the result dynamically okay here it will become any and after after assigning here it will become number or anything okay so this is how uh, we can do the we can we can do this one so now if i try to output this one so if i try to execute here and if i try to execute the output here and i got the combined output as lila lila here see so this 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 one all the time you will not get a situation here writing this type of conditions here here we have written a logic in such a way that number or string so we are doing the mathematical calculation so that's why in order to go according to the typescript compiler we have written like this okay so most of the times you will be not able to you will be you will be not using this type of behavior this depends on your logic if you are using any union types or anything so that depends on your logic how you are writing so if you are writing the logic in a such way that so you will be you will you need to use this type of behavior or otherwise most of the times you will be not have you will not come across this type of behavior so you, the logic will support as this so here we will be using why because so because of this number or string thing so the misconception uh, miscalculations is coming between the number and string so that is the reason we have written if else condition so to satisfy both the number uh, number uh, number thing and also the string type to satisfy both of this so we have written like this so this is all about the union types and the any types in the typescript if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you